What's up guys? Time to show off the Piranha build that was in tonight's mystery box. Um, this was uh, on the 23rd, so if you were seeing this video, maybe you've picked it. Maybe it wasn't picked at all, and we are just posting it, and it's the normal build, and everybody knows all about it. But this is the mystery build that's available uh, in the waffle tonight uh, that closed. It was a five minute close. We've got a brushed and titanium lasered piranha dial uh, with matching insert. And straight on, it looks pretty dark. It's only when you get in the light you notice that the piranha has a nice like, pinkish tone to it, as well as the numbers around here. And the background gives you kind of a... Uh, green is the best way to reference it. Um, in person, it's, it's about the same. But it's like a... Uh, metallic green just looking over the shoulder <laughs> looking over the shoulder of the the phone directly to it um, because sometimes the camera picks up more or less than what I want since it was set up that way I thought I want it to be kind of more of a dark build so I used Ager on a brushed case and darkened this thing up I did the same thing with the crown I did a solid uh, milled case back that we then blacked out, standard tension ring around the back for the case back, um, matching uh, aging on the crown itself. I did a black atlas bezel, that's a PVD bezel, and then your buckle here is a PVD buckle as well. So this PVD and this PVD matches. And then you've got a set of black hands inside there. So your case and your crown match. This is just aged stainless steel. Case back is milled and cerakoted. The bezel and preview buckle are a black PVD. And then this is on a wristbound strap. That is a black strap that has a nice green inlay on here and goes well with the dial and insert. And that is the build. If it's going to you, you got something pretty awesome. And I would have priced it up a little bit higher. This took a long time to do, and I was trying to rush to get this. And I thought this will be the perfect look together. Um, bezel on this will turn left, it'll turn right, it's held on with the tension ring. And good luck setting it straight because, man, is it hard to find straight whenever you're uh, looking at it at an angle. But bezel will turn left, it'll turn right, it's held on with the tension ring. Automatic mechanical, you've got a rotor inside here. You just can't see it with this solid case back. Um, so it's an automatic mechanical. You can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn away from you. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers facing and just go back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, that mixed with the rotor movement will keep your time throughout the day. But, um, <laughs> man, I have this on my hand, this ager. I basically put it on there and then buff and buff and buff and use water to kind of like dissipate the ager. But um, you'll get this like a little bit of rust kind of markings on there. So I clean these up over and over and over again to make sure I get all that stuff off there. But I always make sure I have it off me. But anyway, um, if you add another 10 seconds to this, you're going to max out your 31 hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. Um, and if I didn't say it, a, a turn away from you winds it. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything. But I like to just go back and forth because I can keep my fingers spaced out. If I do it like this, a lot of times I start threading it on. So this way, if I start threading it on, I'm right back off. And then I pull a little bit out, I know that I'm not going to do that again. So that's just the way I do it. When you're happy with your winding, you're going to pull it to the one and only click. You can now set your time, and it does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going on you. So at that point, you can turn. You also notice you've got a wobble crown. This deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement, so when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure on anything. 
Okay, Google, what time is it? Oh, it's now Alexa. Alexa, what time is it? 7.22 p.m. So it's after the waffle. Push it over, get it out of that time setting. And then wind it down. And that is your build. That's going to you. Congrats. I hope you like it. It's coming with matching beats. It's coming in a silver BVW special edition box. I thought about putting it in a piranha box. But looking up here. Let's look up here. Uh, you know what? I have a silver piranha box. And that is blue. So you know what? It's going to come in a silver piranha box. Save me a silver BBW box because it is my last one. I didn't notice that I had a silver one of those up there. The bulk of them are brown because uh, normally I do brown leather. So, silver BBW special edition piranha box. The original version of the piranha. This will come with watch foamer. This is a cleaner that's good on all glass and metal parts. Everything here in the center, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, as well as a microfiber. We'll come with leather conditioner to keep that strap perfectly soft. If you ever feel that it's not, apply it on the front and back. Let it soak in, remove any excess using something outside of a microfiber, like a cloth, towel, washcloth. Just don't use your microfiber. And then lastly, you're going to get some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It's like Poly Watch. It's for your acrylic glass because you can scratch it. But if you do, no big deal. Put a tiny bit of this on it and buff it out using your color matching microfiber. If the scratch is up and down, just go left and right, hazing that scratch, filling in that scratch, and buff it out. That should be gone. If it's not, let it solidify. Come back in 5-10 minutes and do it again. Keep building that back up to fill in what you gouged out of the acrylic. So this is going to you. Congrats. I hope you like it. Um, I think it came out awesome. Um, I kind of like doing these... Uh, distressed steel builds with uh, with Presto Black. So the stuff stinks, gives me a headache, but uh, but once it's, it's all said and done, it looks pretty awesome. Then I just kind of let it air out and keep hitting it with water to make sure all is well. <clears throat> but uh, pretty dark build. You can't really see anything until you get it in the light. So... That's the build. If it's going to you, congrats once again. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for your support. And if you want me to build you something custom, you need to reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.